What's up everyone? Nick D'Angelo here with Saint Investment Group. Today, let's talk about a subject that's very near and dear to my heart and I hope is near and dear to yours. Let's talk mental health, especially when you have a demanding career and responsibilities swirling around. Let's check it out. First things first, sleep is the ultimate foundation. It is the 100% ultimate foundation. Nothing comes before sleep. You know why? Because this is your ability to recharge. Your body needs it to operate at its highest level. It's getting to bed, right? Being able to get to sleep, staying asleep, the quality of sleep, and the duration. Those are kind of the, the plus or minuses of uh, the highest notes of sleeping. The first is try to avoid blue light before you go to bed, right? So that means your phone, that means other things that are um, not beneficial to put because your eyes will pick up the blue light, which means daytime, which means stay awake, right? So get rid of that. Um, another is carving out the time to get enough sleep. That means enough hours of sleep, right? Most people, I think most people have an idea of how many hours that is for them. Some people it might be six, seven, other people it might be eight, nine. I am 100% without question on the eight, nine, I mean, maybe more hours of sleep needed, right? And I give zero apologies for that. Zero apologies because it's that important, right? The reality is that if you're trying to perform at a high level, sleep is even more important. The old adage or the old like hustle wisdom of like, if you're not willing to skip your sleep in order to achieve your goals, then they're not important. To, no, 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 no. Pure nonsense, pure nonsense. There's no one that understands this more than high powered CEOs that are going through super demanding schedules and have to work through very difficult, complex situations. Why? Because their days are very rarely them going around with the fire hose and putting out one fire after another. The highest level, the high, big, big, big companies, uh, the, high, the highest level in those companies, they're not spending the majority of the day putting out fires. They're spending the day making giant decisions. So you'll hear very large CEOs talk about that they only make maybe a handful of decisions a day, okay? Um, Bezos is one that's talked about this. Uh, Elon has alluded to this and discussed this at different times. So if they're only making several, right, several, maybe a handful of decisions in a day, those need to be fantastic decisions. Fantastic, like near perfect decisions. The margin for error is very slim because they have thousands of employees and millions or billions of dollars behind them or you know stockholders shareholders etc 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 so sleep is important you must you need it to be at your absolute best during your day um, in addition there's a couple things little hacks that have worked for me personally that i can re recommend to you that may help you the first is meditation meditation is fantastic overall it helps many things but sleeping, it's really a win-win. Um, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about things like, when I try to meditate, sometimes I get tired and want to fall asleep. Okay, then do it in bed. Then if you fall asleep, it's a win-win, right? The flip side of that is if you have things like intrusive thoughts or you have stress, stressful thoughts, you know, what responsibilities you didn't get to, the ongoing checklist, kind of the carousel of um, the weight that comes along with high pressured positions, right? Meditation is an absolute must. Again, if removing those thoughts, calming your mind, letting the dust settle so that you can see through the water, you can make the mental waters of your mind crystal clear, allowing that peace will let you settle into a much deeper and much quicker sleep I found. The last piece of feedback I'll give you on sleep is an amino acid called glycine, okay? I don't take melatonin, I do the research on that. Melatonin actually has a lot of uh, considerations that aren't great for many people. I did not find it successful long-term, and really I don't think you're supposed to take it long-term if you do the research. Glycine has been fantastic. It's an amino acid that's abundant in things like bone broth, 
It lowers the body temperature, it calms you down, helps you get to sleep faster. It has been great for me. I've really, really, really used that uh, many times to great effect. So the next major point to talk about as far as mental health goes in a high pressure career is taking time away from your phone, making sure that you have distance and boundaries for a no phone zone, right? This isn't just a you know room of your house although it can be and i think that's great and uh we do that oftentimes with our bedroom but uh it can also be a time frame of your day or a portion of your routine so whether that's in the morning if you need that time to center yourself or that's before bed you want to make sure your phone is very far away from you so that you don't have the blue light and you don't have the um, other things that go on with your phone think about your social media right social media alone can be a negative thought loop before bed or cause negative thought loops before bed, right? You think about things like comparison, things like what a family member might be doing that you're thinking about, things like news, right? The last thing you need is a bunch of stressful news right before you're going to bed. So keeping your phone away and keeping social media specifically away is very beneficial for those reasons alone. If you look at your phone usage, how many hours a day that you use your phone, usually it's shocking, right? It's like, cause you still have to eat, you still gotta drive, you still gotta, you know, talk to people, do your job, you gotta do all those other things. So how many hours a day, if you're using your phone for 10 hours, that means all the other stuff's packed into a very sh small window there. It's actually pretty remarkable to uh, think about how much people use their phone. So the more you can put distance and space between that and allow yourself to have some calm and some room with your own mind, you'll work through some of the bigger things. Rather than giving yourself that loop of consumption from your phone and all the different avenues that that has. The next item is diet, okay? It might not sound like diets for mental health, but I can tell you that that is one of the most important and absolutely makes this list all day long. Why? Because there are so many things that if you put into your body, it will affect your mind and your performance throughout the day. Here are a few processed foods, processed food coloring dyes, um, heavy, heavy, heavy meals in the middle of a day. These are things that are going to slow your brain down from operating at the most optimal levels. At least in my life, I notice a huge difference if I'm eating healthy versus eating kind of crap during my day, right? And some of this is days in advance, right? If I eat like crap all weekend and I come in on Monday, and even if I'm eating healthy on Monday, probably not operating at my best, right? Overall, healthier food choices enhance the clarity of your mind and give you pure, clean, focused energy, which is, in if you're operating at a high level, is absolutely important. Nothing beats that, right? The last item I would add on diet is for me personally, it's not drinking, right? That majority of the time, I probably cut back 99% on drinking. And when I do, it's significantly limited. For me, I notice days and days later, it's not like I have a hangover and then that hangover is just like gone the next, no, no, no. For me, I notice days of sluggish, less sharp behavior. I exercise daily, so I notice it for days in the gym. Uh, that I just have less energy and less oomph and less focus. So for me, it's just really not a good fit. I have kids, I run multiple companies. For me, what I want out of life, I don't really wanna look back and be like, Nick was a good drinker, right? I wanna be known for the things I achieved, the legacy I leave behind, the people I can impact in a positive way. So drinking really didn't make my list. So for diet, it's one of the first things I cut out and have noticed one of the most massive returns on investment. So highly recommended to check out if you've ever been curious about that. The next item and the last item, which is extremely pertinent to having great mental health, despite having a huge amount of responsibilities, is it's simple. It's taking time off when you need it, right? And that doesn't mean, you know, shirking on your work or not getting the things done that people are requiring of you or, or you have responsibilities to other people that need those. But when you can and when you need it, you know, right? Especially if you have decades or many years of operating a high, at a high level, you know when you just need to unplug, 
right? When you take that time off to recharge your batteries and clear your mind, what I found especially, and what I think you'll find is that you come back invigorated. You like can't wait to get back in the office and get to back to what you're doing, right? And the things that were monotonous or annoying or uh, difficult or emotionally charged with you know, stress and things like that, you'll step into those with a fresh set of legs and be able to run the marathon all day long with that when you've taken the time off to recuperate in a healthy way, right? Also under the category of taking time off, and I've already mentioned this, but meditation. If you add that into a regular practice, taking time off, right? Even that's five minute meditations during the day. Um, frequently that can just reset your brain to less, to being less reactive to the things that come up. This advice was given to me by a friend of mine who runs a large cell phone case company. Uh, he's an individual that has probably the most remarkable upswing of his company's exponential growth, right? So when he talks and he gives business advice, I am like 100% laser focused. I hit this guy with questions all the time. And one of the things he told me was very simple. He said, look, take even five minutes a couple times a day. If you're in a tough situation and your mind's spinning, again, the importance of those decisions is so high if you have a lot of responsibility, right? So taking five minutes just to do breath work or feel the tips of your fingers or just feel your body in that moment without responding and absorbing everything around you, absolute game changer. It's like a mini vacation during the day in the office. So if you can't get away and go to some beautiful destination, you can do that in your own mind, in your own body, in your own skin. If meditation for five minutes is not enough, let me give you a secret hack that I do very regularly, and that's get outside. Okay, getting outside. It's getting the sun on your skin, getting fresh air to breathe in your lungs and to get a little bit in nature. If you can, the more in nature, the better. But if you can just take a 10 minute walk during your work day and take a little break and just do that, you can come back and be fully refreshed. As a matter of fact, I did that before this video. Why? Because I was in the trenches and I wanted to clear my mind so that I could have laser focus to be able to do this for you guys. At the end of the day, mental health equals mental wealth. If you want to run the marathon of success, if you wanna be achieving at high levels, if you wanna be operating with a ton of responsibility and a huge upswing and doing big things, your mind is infinitely important, infinitely important, and you need to take your mental health very, very, very seriously. So there's things that you can do. These are things you give yourself to, give your, to get back from your mind the best that it can be. I hope this was extremely helpful. Hit the like and subscribe button down below. That allows us to make sure we can keep giving you fantastic content and taking the time to produce great things for you guys. Cheers, check out the link below for more information. We have a blog post with this as well that expands on some of this information. Thanks guys.